Hey everyone, before we dive into the video, I wanna announce something super exciting. My Skillshare class is live. I've been working so hard on this and I'm really, really excited for you guys to see it. So if you have any sort of background in design and you've been wanting to transition or at least add a UX skill set into your repertoire, then I created this class to be a perfect place to start. Feel free to watch the trailer and check out the class on Skillshare. I will link it down below and I really hope to see you over there. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, let's get into my top do's and don'ts when it comes to transitioning from graphic design to UX design. First is do notice how you interact with digital products. One really easy way to start training your brain to think like a UX designer is to become a critical user of all of the apps and websites that you use on a daily basis. Notice what's a really smooth experience versus a more clunky one. Notice if a particular type of pop-up really annoys you or if the word choice in some certain scenario makes you feel a little icky. Next, do learn Adobe XD. It's super intuitive and honestly really fun to use. Ever since I learned XD, I've abandoned a lot of my other design tools and I use XD for pretty much everything nowadays. I have a whole playlist of tutorials on my channel, but I've also learned a ton from Behance Live. It's completely free and they're always streaming and they have a backlog of tons and tons of XD streams as well. Next is do practice projects. In my opinion, learning by doing is the best and fastest way to learn. If you're someone who tends to just sort of read about design, watch videos about design, but hasn't yet actually dove in and started practicing it yourself, then you're doing yourself a disservice. My whole Skillshare class is based around doing your very first UI UX project with my guidance along the way. So if you do go and watch it, I highly recommend actually doing each step along with me. Next is don't just do app redesigns. App redesigns can be effective if you identify a real problem or missed opportunity within the current solution. If not, you're really just reskinning it with a fancy UI. So that can be fun if you just wanna get some practice with your UI skills, but it's not the best way to showcase your UX and problem solving skills. Going along with that, don't just focus on e-commerce app designs. These types of projects saturate sites like Behance and in my opinion, they're kind of boring because they don't go about solving unique problems. Usually the goal is the same, to sell more stuff. But even within those projects, 99% of them that I see don't even try to come up with a unique or interesting way to up conversion rates or sell more products. Next is do browse Behance for interesting case studies that you can learn from. Study how they tell the story, how they go about solving the problem, how they really capture your attention, and even technical things like how they use animation to really bring a product to life. Do get feedback from more senior designers, but a caveat here, don't do this until you have something that you're proud of that you want to show. A lot of young designers or aspiring designers will reach out to people and just ask really, really broad questions like, how do I become a UX designer? Or what's the first step in becoming a UX designer? If you really want to transition into this field, it's going to take action on your part. Figure out what you can learn, start doing practice projects, and then reach out to those around you who might be able to offer advice and feedback on your work. When you do reach out for feedback, make sure you have specific questions ready to ask. A lot of students who come out of boot camps come out having learned the exact same process and it shows sometimes in portfolios. So try to watch videos, read books, and learn things about other types of processes so that you're not just stuck on one when you go to solve a design problem. And lastly, don't be fooled into thinking that you need to go into debt in order to transition into UX. If you're already a graphic designer, then the transition is going to be easier than you think. I know it can feel overwhelming, but there are so many resources out there online that are there to help you. And if you take initiative, then you can make the switch. All right, friends, that is all that I have to share with you today. I really hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions about making this transition or if there are any specific videos you would like for me to make about this topic, 
please leave them down below in the comments and don't forget to check out my Skillshare class because I think that's a really good place to start. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!